Steinhoff is a global mm. investment company concentrating on the furniture sector and related industries. It has grown rapidly in the recent years to a market cap of 46 billion rand. Its South African assets are now held in the JD Group and Cap International. Its major global investment is the European retailer Conforama. It trades on a historic price earnings ratio of nine. Let's hope you like the Steinhoff story. Yeah, now I can calm down slightly. You know, it's Steinhoff. Now, Steinhoff is a fabulous track record. I mean, it's quite a creative bunch of guys that run it. Marcus Joerster, the CEO, his old mate from Germany, Klaus Down, who, you know, is an industrialist of note, and then Bruno Steinhoff, which is Klaus Down's neighbor. Believe it or not, that's how they got together. So they put together this European and South African furniture type group. As you know, they own all sorts of things like PG Bison and Unitrons and so on. So they've kind of reorganized everything. But let me tell you one thing. The future of this company depends entirely on what happens with Conforama. Because they went and did a big, ballsy acquisition, multi-million, you know, million, billion euros. And you know what's happening in Europe currently. It's looking a bit dicky. So if they succeed, really? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> if they succeed here, and they took on a lot of debt to do the deal, so they really have a lot of uh, sort of uh, you know, hope riding on the fact. Do that you Europe believe that recover. it all vests or rides on Conforama and whether they can get that right? To, to a great extent, yes. But uh, and, I, and I know Marcus Eust is a, a great uh, strategic thinker and a great businessman. But uh, for me, we kind of look back on the last ten years and see a lot of share dilution, a lot of acquisition, obviously. And you wonder with 37 billion rand in, in um, uh, goodwill on the balance sheet whether there's anything tangible there. So for me, I'm still trying to unpack where Marcus Eust is taking this company. He brought Unitrans in, he sold it back to, uh, to Cap, he got JD for a steal, so hats off to him for that. But I'm not Are quite sure Are you saying sure you're a little confused going. with I'm the strategy? Confused, yeah, absolutely. You can't have investors confused with the strategy. <laughs> this is the story with them forever. You know, <laughs> Marcus is, as they say, always buying something new. They fight with SARS, they fight with their banks, they fight with each other. But at the end of the day, what they <laughs> Sounds do... Sounds like a wonderful <laughs> company to invest but in. But at the end of the day, he's incredibly entrepreneurial and he really gives it a full go. Look, that's reflected in the share price. You know, in 2009, this thing got absolutely crushed. It fell from 30 rand a share to 9. Now it's back at around 30. So, you know, you can see so just makes, how... So it makes sense to buy it at its all-time well, high. Well, no, it makes sense to buy it now if you think Europe is going to be okay. If you think Europe's going down the tubes, then definitely Hot avoid. or not on Steinhoff? Not, because Europe is going down the tubes. So I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> Hot or not on Steinhoff? I think Europe is fantastic. You know, in a couple of days, there's going to be the Tour de France, and then you'll be able to see again how rich and fabulous those people are. Buy on Steinhoff for sure. Hot.